Dan Perry here with another Dan on Tech command prompt video. In this video, we're going to look at the copy command and how we can copy files back and forth. Now, I'm still in my DOS commands folder. And if I do a directory, I've got a test file, a test one, and a test two, as well as the directories one and two. So to start with, let's look at the help. And when we look at the help, we see that there are a lot of switches or options. Then we have a required source file. And it shows the destination as optional. In reality, the destination file is required, or at least a directory for the destination, if not the name of the file. So we do have the copy command here. The options, although there are a number of them, none of them are used on a regular basis. Windows can tell whether a file is an ASCII file, a binary file, so those options for specifying it don't need to be uh, used. Today, everything's accurate enough and all, verifying that the file was written correctly by comparing the old and new. Again, not used very much. Um, I've never had a file that didn't copy correctly unless it gave me an error during the copying. People don't use the short file names anymore, so that's not needed. And the prompting on overwrite, you could suppress it or say don't if the file already exists. I strongly recommend against that. So those options are really not things that you probably want to ever change. So let's start by copying. And if I do copy, and my source file, the file I want to copy, in this case is test.file, and I want to copy it into the same directory, and let me call it new.file. And so when I copy it, when I hit enter, it says one file copied. And if I do a directory listing, I can see that now I have new file. I have test file, test one and two that I already had. So that's the simplest version or form of test. Now, very often we want to copy a file into another directory or folder, and there we include the path. So if I copy test.file, and I want to copy it into the folder or directory called 1, if I just use the no name of the folder, it will copy it into that folder. So one file copied. If I do a directory of that one, I see test file is there. If you use this format, it will automatically use the same as the original file name. Now, what happens if that file already exists? So this time I tried to copy test file to one under the same name, and it says, hey, do you want to override it? Yes, no, or all. In this case, we're only copying one file, but if we were copying a number of files, I could do all, and it would say, yes, override all of those. If I say yes, it would wipe out what's in one called test.file and put this over the top of it. If I say no, it just skips it and doesn't copy a file. I can copy a file and rename it at the same time. So if I do one backslash new file dot one, that will create a copy of test file in the one directory under a different name. And I can see that if I do a directory of one, that there's new file dot one. Now, because I can use the path, I'm using the relative paths. I'm starting from the DOS commands directory that I'm in. I could supply the complete path. So if I did a copy of DOS dash or backslash DOS dash commands backslash one backslash test dot file and wanted to copy if I hit enter now I should get an error 
or an overwrite rather, saying, hey, test.file already exists, so I'm going to say no, because it was trying to copy it from the one directory into this directory. I was using the complete path there. I could, for my destination, also use a complete path. And this time, I'm copying it from the one folder into the two folder, but I'm going to keep the same name. One file copied. If I do a directory of two, I can see that that file is there. So that's the basic copy command. In the next video, we'll look at using wildcard characters to do copies. Thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future videos. Please check out and subscribe to our other Dan on Tech channel playlists.